This is El Milagro. Um, we're basically on the grass field. This is where we do the, the grass field jumping. Say we have a, a grass field show next week, say like D-Ridge. Um, we put jumps out here. Horses love it. They actually like working on the grass field more than they like over there on the sand. Um, so yeah, we've got the natural uh, ditches over there. We got the grass, the bank over there. Uh, small one, but the horses can learn how to jump it. And yeah, we, we use this um, just to flat the horses. Horses love it. We use a lot to lap around the pond to cool off the horses and um, just keep them in a good mental place, you know? It's good. So this is the, the tack room. This is basically where we end up getting ready, where we put our boots on, spurs on, all that, and then head out over there to the tax, to the tax stalls to uh, get on the horse. I'd have to say the favorite part of this about this room would have to be probably the, the bit locker. Um, I've had great memories with Guga and Eddie just coming in here, uh, not liking what we have on the horse and just going off and on, off and on, trying different bits till we find something that we're like. Um, I think it looks really cool. It's actually really, um, really easy to work out of uh, instead of having all the bits in a box like we did before. Eugenio has had the challenge of juggling a riding career alongside studying for a degree at the University of Miami. Um, it's been hard. It's uh, the, the, the balance between the riding and the, and the studies is never easy. Um, I'm always more inclined to put um, horses first and at times that's kind of put me in trouble sometimes but you know it's really taught me how to kind of balance the two and, and balance responsibilities and you know so far I think uh, I'd like to think that, that it's been a good good time. We'll go into the office. Pretty much this is where the most of the, of the work off the horse goes on between myself, Fetty Mack, and uh, Guga, my other trainer. Um, so come on in. Every Sunday, Eddie sits me down with Guga. We put on the rounds of that week with the horse, um, and we talk about you know what I did right, what I did wrong, um, what the horse did right, what the horse did wrong, um, where we could improve. Kind of sets the tone up for, for next week. Um, I've had uh, quite an earful here when I don't do well. But uh, there's been other times where we, we sit back and watch rounds that were, that were great and brought us a lot of happiness. So it's, it's a bit of mixed emotions, but yeah, definitely a lot of learning has been going on here between me, Eddie, and Guga. So a nice room and uh, a, you know, a big quiet away from all the, all the chaos over there. No doubt about it, probably the top 10 moments in my life have come because of this sport. And I'm so thankful that I'm someone that, that gets to do it. Um, and I'm just enjoying it while, while it lasts, you know. I don't think of it as a normal life and I get to experience that and I'm like, wow, that's, that's just amazing, you know. So um, definitely had a, have, like, have been having a great time and, you know, I, I'm, I'm really happy that I've, I got to experience it for so long. All right, so like I said, um, a lot of great memories are here. Um, a lot of history about the team, our barn. Last year in, uh, in August, the Pan American Games, uh, my first championship with Team Mexico, um, finished Team Silver, um, individual fifth, um, the horse was amazing. Yeah, a lot of history in this place about our team specifically. I think it all starts with, uh, with my grandfather on my mother's side. He was a, he was a great horseman, kind of got my mother into it. He was a, a charro in, uh, in Mexico. Uh, but that's kind of where it all started, you know, got my mom into riding and that's how my mom and my dad. But, you know, incredible horseman. Um, he got to see me ride a couple times and that was really special for me. And yeah, it's kind of a family of, uh, of horsemen that I've come down from, so hopefully one day I can, you know, be as, uh, be as great as he was with the horses. Uh, he was really special. One of Eugenio's fondest riding memories came during the summer of 2018 at the Longines FEI Jumping Nations Cup. Dublin was really special for a, for a number of reasons. Um, training with Eddie Mack and the, you know, the, the, the legend of, of Ireland that he, that he was. It was um, a lot of fun going there, a lot of pressure. Um, but we never really ever imagined that we had a chance of winning, you know, it, it, was, it was crazy. I think we went in with like 50 to 1 odds or something like that and ended up uh, winning the competition. It was absolutely amazing. This is the main, main part of the barn. 
Uh, this is where most of the work happens. Um, over there you have the wash stalls as well as the farrier and vet stall. You have the horse bar, uh, which we use often after we jump. And then vet office is over there. Hey, going in there means something's wrong. There's always a breeze coming through. It's very fresh, even though Florida can get very hot. Um, this barn always seems to have a breeze, come, breeze coming in. Um, the horses are really fresh in here. Uh, they have big stalls, I think 16 by 16 stalls. This is Armani. Right now, at the moment, he's our, our top horse. Um, and he's basically our, our, uh, the horse that we think that is going to make it to Tokyo. He's a 12-year-old gelding by Aska Said Kumano. He was my partner for the Pan American Games. Um, he's just an overall amazing horse. Had him since he was end of a six, start of a seven-year-old year. So really lucky to have him. I genuinely think I have one of the best teams in the world. Like my guys, we've, we've been with each other. Um, Mario has been with us 12 years. Um, Guero, his, his brother, has been with us almost the same amount of time. Victor, eight years. Um, they're like family, you know? Um, they live on property too. And, um, you know, it's, it, it's just, uh, we don't think of them as staff, we think of them as, as family, you know? Um, and we all kind of pull together. We all want to, we all have the same goal, which is to go in the ring and win. So it's great that, then, that we have our goals aligned and, and it makes it so much easier, easy to work with.